He will bite your face off. Joey, no. No, Joey. Don't bite it. No. It's okay. Don't bite it. Keep talking. Don't bite it. No. Joey, no. Joey, no. No. Don't eat all that hair. Breathe. No, no. Breathe. 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 No. Okay. Joy, no. No, joy. Breathe. No, joy. Breathe. No, joy. Good boy. No, joy. No. No. Breathe. No. Breathe. No. Breathe. No. Breathe. Good joy. boy. No. No, joy. No. They come. No. 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 Joey, no. No, Joey. Joey, no. <laughs> no, Joey. Joey, no. No, Joey. Okay. Joey, no. Joey. Oh, no. No. Bad Joey. Joey, no. Joey, no. Joey, Joey, no. 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 Joey, no. 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 Okay. No. 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 Joey, no. Joey, no. No, Joey. No. Joey, no. No, Joey. No, Joey. Joey, no. 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 Well, let's move your tongue. Move no. your tongue. Uh, you're doing good. You're doing good, but move your tongue, bro. Joey, no. No. Joey, no. You're almost done. You're almost done. You haven't even done your nope, ears. Nope, We're not doing his ears. They're going to have to do it at the veterinarian. He's about to go into surgery, which I'll tell you guys about here in a minute. Joey, no. Joey. Okay. Done? Let me take over. Go ahead. Let go, please. So I meet the pet parents outside. I actually worked them in today. Why? He's about to have surgery and he's actually had a bad day. Matter of fact, we had an appointment a few days ago with Joey and he wanted to get in quick. And you know, those pet parents, they were one of the first to actually meet me here and buy clippers during the pandemic. We are still in the height of the pandemic here. It's July 9th, 2020. We're still in the height of like our huge numbers. And in the beginning in March, they met me here and bought a set of clippers, guards, blades, everything so they can make sure they upkept him at home. The pet parent father said, Didi, my wife is crying because of how hard it is to groom him at home and what we're incapable of doing. So he would check back and check back. Are you grooming again? Are you grooming again? And I'm like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. And I can't say I'm truly ready now, but as long as we all do the best we can, staying away from each other, me getting the groom done and getting your dog back to you as quick as possible, I feel a little bit safer, but not 100%. I feel like if a dog could give me COVID-19 while I'm standing in front with my mask and my shield on or my eyeglasses on, it's still breathing right in my face. 
especially on an aggressive dog like this, is extremely difficult, extremely hard, and my mind is going through all kinds of things. I have to roll with the punches, like literally. And having a helper, it's really hard to now picture myself, picture the dog, picture him, picture what we're doing, and be in control of everything. And with that comes a little bit of heightened hyperness and a little bit of loudness, and that's just who I am. I'm over here hooping and hollering, blah, 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 you know. I want to make sure everyone stays safe. And sometimes that safe comes with loudness. So that's why there's such a thing called mute. <laughs> you can mute, mute it. It is one of the hardest grooms I have to do. Yelling at David so he doesn't get attacked in the face. That this dog wanting to... I don't know if David caught it or not, but I was outside and we the muzzle kept coming off because the dog would take the muzzle off. I don't know if he caught that or not, but I know that the neighbors over here were outside watching and those people were outside watching and they were waiting for a barber haircut and they were watching and they probably were all thinking, oh my goodness, I can't believe they're, she's going in with that dog. And that's how I'm thinking, but I'm in it and I'm the groomer and I'm going to get it done. I just need to figure out how to roll with the punches. If he's gonna do this, I need to do this. If he's gonna do that, I need to do that. And if, if that's gonna happen and you're gonna hold like that, I'm gonna scream at you and tell you to let go. If you're gonna put your hands on with no muzzle and I know that muzzle is loose hanging there, I know he's gonna attack you if he had a minute. If he's gonna attack me, why wouldn't he attack you? You're right in front of his face. So I'm over here, my hyperness is up. I've got a lot of energy, I've got adrenaline, I've got all these things happening. And do you think that in the middle of all that, if I were to actually say, don't do that, Joey, no, no, he would not listen to me. No, 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 Joey, do, no, 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 Joey. That, he, if you noticed, matting, if, as soon as I hit a, the mat, as soon as I, right here, we were shaving him down, everything's great. Brrr, brrr, everything's great. Boom. I hit the arm mat, boom, it's snagging. And this is tender. If you ever knew the tent, if you grow your armpit hair out and pull it, I have pulled David's arm hair, arm hair, pit hair, whatever you want to call it, arm hair. Arm pit hair. And he's like, ow, oh! you know, like pull your husband's boyfriend's armpit hair. And they'll be like, ow, oh! it is actually really sensitive skin under there. So even for a dog, now it's all matted. So I'm not saying, I wish they could avoid the matting. If mom and dad are crying at home because they can't do certain things with the dog, do you think that he's gonna be happy for me to do it? No, but do you think they can avoid matting? They can avoid matting by shaving more often, but they 100% cannot even handle him at home. That's why they have me. Yeah, they can go get him sedated every groom. Would you wanna sedate your child for every haircut? Probably not, I don't recommend it. Your, your child's life probably is going to not be as prolonged as it could be. As soon as I hit that mat, it was like an open door to being, just throw the attitude in the air. Just let me know how you feel. And after that, it was over, right? So he started doing all this wild stuff. To get a hold of him outside, everybody watched us. It was crazy. I'm over here like, no, 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 come back over here. This is a crazy kind of groom. And I am not just saying that. You have Googled it. How to groom my crazy dog. Can you groom my crazy dog? Can you groom my aggressive dog? How, who can touch my dog? My dog won't let me touch him. You know what I mean. Some of y'all know what I mean. I thank the grace of God to give me the strength to go through a groom like this and come out unsinged. No damage. No David says to me, you're going to get bit. That's a bad situation. And I was like, no, shut up. You know, because I had a moment where it was working for us. And it worked for us until I got most everything off. I specifically spent more time on his face. Why? Because the pet parent specifically said, get as much off the face as you can. So in my head, I have that. I have the pet female pet parent saying, I need it, and I said, I said, I'll do the best I, on the phone, right? I was like, I'll do the best I can, but there's no guarantee. So the dad says, honey, she said she's just going to do the best she can. There's not a guarantee. And I can hear her saying, oh, my, well, we really need it done. And I'm like, I know they really need it done. 
So I'm doing the best I can that he doesn't get bit, that I don't get bit, and that we get it done so I don't have to see that dog for a while. Here's the next thing that's really important to me that ended up happening. So recently he had an appointment. No fees, we canceled it. I said, no, 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 you can't come in. No, no, no. He said, we just went to the vet, this and that. Uh, they were gonna go to the vet like tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow, but like a couple weeks ago. We're gonna go to the vet tomorrow and this is what's gonna happen. I said, okay, go to the vet tomorrow. I'll keep your appointment on this day. You let me know by end of tomorrow what the vet says. So they go to the vet, x-rays, everything on the back leg. He's hobbling, he's favoring it. He's not really walking on it, the back leg. And so I said, okay, what did the vet say about grooming? Oh, he didn't say anything, we didn't ask. I said, no, 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 no. Well, I'm canceling your groom. <laughs> You're not coming in for grooming until you talk to your veterinarian. Okay, Dee Dee, tomorrow I'll call the vet. We'll find out this and that, this and that. They get the x-rays back. Looks like there's some cartilage in there, cartilage buildup, some kind of uh, tear, torn tissue, and not quite ACL damage, but like stuff in there causing him to possibly have a bad knee and, and needs a bit of um, release and they want to take out some stuff and get a biopsy they're going to do that here in the next few weeks six to six weeks i think they're going to get let him repair and then put him under so he's going to go into surgery so i knew this entire groom i was in my head i was looking at both the back legs and i was being careful with the weight of his body weight but also we've got this wild jumper right and spinner he wants to spin and attack and do all these things he does ha doesn't have any idea how bad his legs are back there. He's not, he would jump until he broke his leg if he wanted to. Do you understand? He's not thinking, well, I'm going to break my leg. He's just thinking, I, get out of my face. Don't touch me. Don't touch my arms. Don't groom me. I don't want to be here. This is not going to happen. It is my job to know the problem and then try to prevent further injury. But also, guess what? They said at the door, shave him as short as possible. Done. Get as much face as you can, done. And then, guess what? The reason why we wanna shave in my, my history, my experience, is that he's about to go into surgery. If he goes into surgery and they find something that they need to do, break, sew, shatter, repair, put pins in, all this stuff. You got the trachea tube going down the mouth, all the drool and the nastiness that comes with that. It's just like me and you going to surgery and not having our hair done for like, having our hair even brushed for months. So when he gets out of surgery, there's gonna be a wound he might lick, a problem he might have, a cone head he might have to wear. So you want him as cleaned up as possible, including all this. So I really also wanted to focus on the face, which is hard to do anyway, because he's about to go into surgery and we don't know what he's gonna come out with. And if he comes out with a broken ACL with the surgery and da 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 stitches and a pin or whatever, guess what? He's not gonna come see me for a few months after that. So I might not see him for four, five, or six months. As long as I got as much as I could get off today, then the next round hopefully won't be as bad. And I pray that it won't be. But that's why some of the things I did today was around the knee problems, was around getting the face done and prepare for surgery. So thank you for understanding and now knowing why I did some of the things I did while we were working there, how I was holding under the tummy and grab the arm instead of just side to side, letting him flip around his backside with his knees, really coming under and grabbing under like under his belly and grabbing the front paw, kind of preventing him from doing too much. Yes, he was jumping around, but preventing him from being even worse. I hope you learned something today. I hope it wasn't just like a fearful groom because it was for me like, whoa, what the heck? You know, he's just wild out of hand. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share, make sure all the notification is on, the notification bell, hit it, click all. You can shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. You can get some of the tools we use, like your clippers, your 10 blades, get multiple 10 blades, your coolant, your groom loop, your muzzles, your cone head. I used two cone heads on him, doubled up because one might be pulled off. He's pretty smart. Nail trimmers, if I had to do nail trimmers, table with the risers, anything you might need is at myfavoritegroomer.com. If you're learning from here, support us, and we really appreciate you. Pick up your Dog Up Stand Mini, your Dog Up Stand Small, which I use today at dogupstand.com. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.
That was so exhausting. I'm so exhausted. Today, I mean, that he says I talk too much. I don't know. I guess I could talk all day if I want to. I don't know. I want to make sure you guys know everything because if you're learning how to groom from me, you want to know some of these things and why I did them. So if you run into the same situation, but y'all remember that whole day you talked about it for an hour. She did a hold underneath the tummy, under the belly. That's enough. I can tell you right now, it's exhausting. Half of these people are already gone. More than half. Are you gone? 90, or did right? Comment below. Ninety-eight percent com is gone already. Comment below if you watch till the very end of the video, because then you write. Just put the uh, code word sugar. Code word sugar on this video if you watch till now, like till the end of the video. We're this only gonna is. We're going to believe you if you do it in the first two hours. What? We're only going to believe them if they do it in the first two hours. First two hours only. First two hours of posting? You yeah, can I get a complete sentence? First two hours. <sighs> Pretty short, man. Pretty short cuts. So, post the word, comment below, sugar. I saw sugar at the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk to you later. Oh, gosh, I just want you to know it's, it's so exhausting. Multiple dogs, back to back, aggressive. Takes a lot of energy out of you. So I'm texting David. I showed him a picture. Uh, that I pulled up at the stock show is twenty dollars for parking, and he's like, "Why didn't you pick, come pick me up?" So now I just put on the live feed. I'll be home at eleven, uh, meeting some friends. <laughs> he's sitting there gaming. He's like, "Come home and game with me." <laughs> <laughs> I just can't stop laughing. Oh, shoot. I'm almost home right now. We're going to see what he does. <laughs>